Welcome to the Handbag Heaven, part two of the must-have Amazon designer bag dupes video. I'm just gonna pick back up where I left off in part one with the Bottega Veneta and the Amo bag. If you haven't watched part one, I do recommend that you go ahead and watch that so that you can pick back up where we're starting. So if you remember in part one, I determined that the Andiamo dupe was an oops. <laughs> Not really a dupe, but an oops. So I continued to look for a dupe that fit this design and had a little bit better materials than that previous dupe. I think the biggest issue was not so much with the design for me, but with the materials. I mean, the design differences I could get over because I didn't expect it to be the same. So, but there were some key design details that I actually wanted that really wasn't on the bag, like the woven edges. My thing is, even though I don't really like that woven kind of pattern or design I'm like this if you're gonna do something make it consistent and I hated that the previous dupe was not consistent with that pattern all the way to the edges so I did find another dupe and we're gonna see if this one is better than the first so yeah it came in this bag and just right out of the bag it already looked better than the first one in terms of the material. Also the design, like I said, I wanted that woven design to the edges, unlike the first bag. And this one already was checking that box. So yeah, just looking at it, it already was looking like of better quality than the first. Now, again, I didn't expect it to be as good quality as Bottega. I mean, of course, this is not, you know, high quality leather. And I, you know, the leather itself is a little questionable. They did identify it as genuine leather and genuine leather doesn't mean 100% leather. In fact, it's more or less like the bottom, like layer of the hide after all of the good you know high quality leather layers have been removed and then it's like infused or you know it's like put together with a non-leather product in some cases and then used so yeah it, the terminology is a little tricky but i will say it is mimicking leather much better than that previous bag that was just it was so obvious that the previous bag wasn't real leather and the the touch of it is great now look these grommets on the side is gold and the previous bag was like that too but i'm okay with it it's kind of hidden now you do get the same color grommets as the color of the bag in the front and the back it's just the side they kept go but hey they gotta do that to save money i'm okay with that yeah, so when you look at the front, here's compared. This is the old bag. So you compare it to the front of the old bag. Like I said, it, it doesn't continue that that woven pattern on the old bag, but this new one does. And I am so happy with that. I'm also happy with the color. This color is like I like this color a lot better than the previous here. The other the previous color is more like a chocolate, but I think because the fake leather was so shiny and this one is a little bit more dull it makes it just look better to me so yeah i'm actually pretty happy with this dupe definitely much better than the previous dupe now one of the key differences you probably already noticed with this one is in the front in the front here it's a little different than the you know actual Bottega bag and it's also different than the previous dupe. So here is the little leather tag I'm gonna put on here so when I compare it to the previous dupe you can tell which one is which. So yeah let's compare it to the previous dupe. So the previous dupe here's a side by side here's the previous dupe first and then the one with the tag is the new dupe. So as you can see again the woven pattern goes all the way to the top on the new dupe versus the previous dupe. And then the other difference is in the front with the little bow hardware, 
the way that bow is attached to the like woven you know string there or you know strap it is a lot different and i'm okay with that i don't like if it was exactly like bottega it wouldn't we wouldn't be calling this a dupe it would be something else and i wouldn't be reviewing it or owning it so i like the difference i like that it's you know it has its own identity in that way but the main issue with the first bag here is the interior it sucked it really was bad it wasn't even like a leather like interior some kind of spongy material now here's the new dupe at least the interior on the new dupe looks like leather it has a leather look and i like that much better then this one has the pocket detail similar to the original. I mean, it has the zipper pocket. It has the open, you know, pocket as well. So it's just much better. And then there's not all of the loose threading like the that other do. So yeah, look, take a look here. It, yeah, the thread, the the stitching is so much better on this one. If you look at that first video, the stitching on that dupe in the first video was horrendous. So yeah, everything in the inside looks 10 times better than that original dupe. So yeah, much better, much better dupe than the original. So when I compare it to the actual Bottega bag, there are a few differences. When it comes to the handle drop, the dupe is about 3.5 instead of the 3.1 with the original. Then of course that you know hardware in the front is like a shiny gold and the original is kind of shiny but it's you know you can tell it's better quality so the original is lambskin leather and then again with this dupe it is not of course lambskin it is a much lower quality leather then when it comes to the grommets like it does have the brown grommets in the front and in the back but on the side it has the gold grommets and like I said earlier I don't have a problem with that at all and last but not least when it comes to the size there are some differences there when it comes to for the most part the width of the bag or the length of the bag it is around about the same I think the dupe is about 11.5 five inches so it's a like 0.1 inch off but there's a significant difference in the height the dupe is like 7.5 inches whereas the original is 7.1 so it kind of gives the bag a more awkward shape in my opinion i think it basically takes away from that east west look because it's a little too tall so being that it's a little too like the height is too a little too high it makes it look a little bit you know it, it takes away from that east west look if you know what i mean so it doesn't it takes away from that elongated look of the bag which i personally like and i think that's what really like makes this bag is the actual east west shape i actually like that the east west version of this bag much better than i like the other version but the size difference is not a deal breaker and of course it can't be exactly the same size that you know again we wouldn't be talking about a dupe if it was so i'm okay with it i think this new bag is actually duping Moving on to the next bag. I've been looking at the Bottega Clutch. So this is the Andiamo Clutch. Bottega is doing it right now. And for me to be a person that don't like the woven material, it's very funny that I'm so into these bags. So I did find this clutch before it sold out on Amazon. Unfortunately, it has sold out. I've been watching to see if it would come back in stock and I'll let you guys know. So make sure you click that notification button to be alerted. But yeah, I found it on Amazon and to me, it looked like a perfect dupe. So I decided to purchase it and like comparing the two, it looks so close. Here's the bag. I actually got it in and right out the bag, I'm looking at the material 
and again y'all you know it's not going to be the highest quality of material in fact i think this is probably the cheapest um leather or leather like material you can get when it comes to the little hardware here it has kind of the same theme of that little knot but it's not of course like the original kind of ties into a knot but you can actually see through it it's not like one solid piece so it's just a slight little difference there in the hardware. And then the hardware, of course, is not like the same, you know, color gold. And when it comes to the woven pattern, it's not carried out all the way to the edges. So as you can see, like on the top flap here, it's not all the way to the edge. Now it's okay on the bottom, it's just that top that's not good. And then on this side, it's the bottom that's not good. When it comes to the top handle, this I think is an imperfection in the dupe. It actually looks <laughs> like crooked. It's not, and I'll show a different angle. It, it doesn't like go up evenly on each side, so it's like, going up at an angle versus like even on each side so i'll show you try to show you in a different angle it's, i don't know if you can see it's like a hump on one side whereas the other side you know is a little bit down so it's not even on both sides so yeah that is actually something i think that's an error that they just did it wrong yeah the craftsmanship is not good. It's, I mean, that's how it is with these boots. I mean, you get what you pay for, basically. And it opens just like the um, Bottega bag. And then when you go on the inside, it has the one pocket on the inside. Of course, no logos or anything like that because this is, like I said, it's a dupe. It's not, it's not the real thing. But yeah, it's just an open, you know, interior. Now the stitching is not that great. You know, on the inside here, see a little knot there. And then the square right there or diamond shape right there is, yeah, the stitching is off. Oh, the, the stitching always is not that great on these dupes. So unfortunately, that's, you know, something that you have to, you know, weigh out if you want to deal with all of that. Now, of course, this is on the interior. The stitching on the exterior isn't bad at all, so, you know, but it is not that great on the interior. Once you open this thing up, everybody knows this ain't Bottega, but, well, you, I mean, you can tell from the outside the folly of the leather as well, but you definitely know without a shadow of a doubt when you see that bad stitching because Bottega's craftsmanship is way better than this. But when it comes to the strap, they did a decent job on the strap. I mean, a lot of times with these dupes, the strap comes in. Like, even when they get the bag, like, pretty close, like, almost just right, the strap normally is pure crap. But in this case, I was kind of impressed with the strap. I mean, it was pretty nice, you know? The stitching was pretty decent. I mean, they did a better job on the strap than they did to the interior stitching so now the issue i have is with the leather woven parts where it's just not from edge to edge like the original and that's exactly what i wanted like i said i like for things to be consistent so yeah but when i went to put on the strap y'all i saw that they got paint on the hardware yeah, when I compare it to the original, like I said, the biggest issue is the woven, you know, pattern going to the edge, you know, from edge to edge, like all over the bag. And that's, it, it doesn't do that on the dupe. It, it stops short of the edge and it's not a deal breaker, but I just wish it did. Okay, y'all, looking at everything, I'm really feeling like this is an oops versus a dupe. Mainly because of that crooked top handle, as well as it not having the woven pattern from edge to edge, and the pretty bad stitching on the inside of the bag. Oh yeah, I almost forgot the paint that is on the hardware. 
I'm so disappointed that this elongated clutch did not work out, but this presents a new opportunity for me to do a DIY. So I'm going to do a video where I create my own elongated clutch. Make sure you click that notification bell so you will be notified when I upload the video. Moving on to the last bag. I have been looking for a raffia bag, but I've been wanting something more affordable. I just can't see myself spending a lot of money for a, a raffia bag, okay? A non-leather bag, I just can't do it. So I found this dupe on Amazon and it looks very similar to the Prada raffia bag so i was really thinking that this would work as the perfect dupe this bag actually comes in three different colors i was so tempted to choose purple that's my favorite color but i decided to go with i think i went with the khaki color yeah so i went ahead and ordered this bag and I think it says that it is like mesh um, and you know it says straw but I think it's like synthetic fibers and it says high quality material but we will see so I got the bag in and it looks like this which I think is great for what it is for the price as well, I think this is perfect. I mean, I would only use this as like a beach bag. So I think this fits, you know, the bid for that. And I think the design of it is pretty good. I mean, the fact that it has Paris Milano on it, you know, that doesn't bother me at all. I think that's kind of fitting. So yeah, now the, I guess, the embroidery or whatever they use to uh, put in the lettering they had a few issues with that where the you know material is kind of overlapping but it still looks good for the most part I actually think it's pretty good it's definitely like really good for the price that I paid for this because I only paid $22.99 for this versus two thousand dollars for the Prada bag the major difference between the bag is a little difference in the color and of course it doesn't have the brand name on it doesn't have product on the bag as well as the size it's not the same exact size I think the, the dupe is a little bit more narrow than the actual Prada bag the Prada bag is wider and I think the drop is a little bit the strap you know the shoulder strap drop a little bit um, longer the other difference is the border around the bag it's actually a thinner border on the Prada bag but it's a little thicker around the edges of the dupe but none of these differences are deal breakers for me I actually like those differences I think the dupe is duping let me know what you think in the comments. Let's talk in the comments about these dupes. Let me know if you agree, if you disagree, why. Drop it down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow The Handbag Heaven on Instagram where you can see my complete luxury handbag collection and how I style them. Thanks for watching.